let's start with the demo i'll just give you an uh, idea of what are success factors basically and uh, i'll tell you some differences between sap hcm and sap success factors in general okay so uh, let's consider that we have a company so let's start with that so let's assume that we have a company say that the company's name is abcde so there are a lot of things or a lot of data uh, particularly associated with the company for instance consider we are starting this company so the company is going to be put up in a particular location it is actually started to implement a certain functionality and then there are going to be a lot of data that is associated with the functionality in sense consider the company is um, a manufacturing company so it's going to manufacture something so there will be a lot of stuff with related to that data which includes what all uh, items are manufactured in what quantity are they manufactured how many has gone out how many has come in the entire statistical data plus we also have employees data because once we start about or once we start speaking about a company who is going to work in the company employees employees are the people who are going to work on a company so how does how do the process actually start the process actually starts from recruitment which is finding suitable candidates to fulfill our needs to work in our organization and once the recruitment process is over people come and join so once they join they have some personal data associated with them so it could be their bank address i mean sorry a bank account or their personal address so bank account is essential because we'll have to do the transfer of salary address is essential because we might uh, post them some communication like that there will be a lot of personal information related to the data i mean related to the uh, related to the person which is going to be stored onto the system and uh, this is his data or the employee's data what can also happen is that the employee will undergo a lot of process when he is with the company like he may undergo some training he may uh, he may have an appraisal that takes place every year to see how how much he has worked for the last year and there could be something uh, like he could get compensated for whatever he has done for the last year and then he could follow a particular time pattern in which in which he works like some some of them can work on a general shift some of them will work on a morning shift again they can get paid payroll they can get paid for whatever they uh, whatever they work and the payroll itself is a separate process where different categories of people can get different salaries and the components that they get will also be different let's say we are starting a company we need to maintain all these things so this particular data maintenance is eased with the help of sap erp tool so sap initially the sap itself is an erp tool which you know erp stands for enterprise resource planning and this erp was very much helpful in maintaining all these stuff in one place so very very much initially it was like all of these were implemented uh, separately like it need it it was not through a single domain or it was not through a single interface they were maintained have to use some different different software right uh, right whatever the companies felt were best for compensation they used for that whatever they felt best for recruitment so like that they were using so they wanted to bring it on to a single platform that is erp erp is nothing but it is a package in that package you have all these which could be configured in the way that we want it to work that is we might uh, say that uh, we want employees to work on general shift morning shift and night shift yes you can configure i want the payroll to have five components for a general shift four for a morning shift three for a night shift yes i want appraisal to happen differently for different categories of people whatever the company wants to store however the the company wants the data to be processed however he wants the however the business wants the history to be retrieved everything is possible to be maintained and tracked through this erp so sap is an erp tool it mainly focuses on this and sap hcm is a tool 
which is used to maintain the HR related activities of the organization which includes the data of the company and that of the employee. So HCM is an on-premise solution. So by means of an on-premise solution you mean to say that see all these are basically data. This data will be stored on what is called as database. Database is something which is used to store the data. By means of on-premise, we mean that this database will be maintained by us. That is, the company implementing SAP will be the ones who take care of maintaining this database. Apart from that, they will also take care of upgrading it at regular intervals, uh, taking care of the security and any anything related to the maintenance will be upon the business who is doing the implementation. So that was a drawback which led to the uh, implementation or which led to the transition to a cloud based solution which is success factors. So this had got transitioned into success factors because success factors is cloud. So by means of cloud you mean to say that you are maintaining all these online you don't maintain this so in so yeah okay so after that we are maintaining this all this data in the cloud server that's right that's right sap success factors is a cloud solution wherein all these database everything will be maintained by sap on our behalf but the ideology is still there you could still configure the system to work in a way that you want that the entire functionality is still possible but what we are overcoming here is the maintenance upgrade part which people didn't want to do which they wanted it to hand over it to somebody else which the somebody itself was HAP. So people started looking for cloud based solution an example is your gmail consider gmail how do we use it we we have a username we have our password we, we need internet, we have Google drives where we can upload our documents and how are we accessing it? Just with internet plus credentials. And what are we storing on them? We are store some documents. Can we retrieve it at any place? Yes. Do we need, do we, we do we have to store the data into our servers? No, we don't have to store anything. So that is an example or that is what is SAP success factors all about. It is the cloud solutions for the HR uh, aspects of an organization. So the main difference between SAP HCM and SAP success factors is that SAP HCM is an on-premise solution. SAP was its best and still is its best at giving the HR solutions to companies. But only thing is that initially it was all on premise. Now things are moving into cloud because of the advantages, advantages in cloud. Moreover, success factors is completely non-technical and it, uh, it's made much, much user friendly. And there is no coding in all, no? There's no coding and all. Uh, there is no technical consultants at all with success factors. It's entirely functional. The technical and functional consultants of SAP HCM are now just consultants in success factors. And another. So, so in the. In hmm, tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact. Yeah, tell me. You had something. Hello? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so in the recommendation part. Mm -hmm. So, what's the role of the success factor consultants? We will be. They are, they are just making efforts. And... Yeah, we would be getting the requirements from the business as to how exactly they want the system to behave and work. And that configuration, we will be doing it. The same thing. Same thing. Whatever we. Same. Yeah, whatever we were doing with HCM, same thing. So only thing is that with HCM, it is a more technical way. We go to transaction codes. We do the configurations here. It's online. It's like it's cloud. You log into your portal. You do the configuration. So in, in, in success factor, we don't have transaction codes. No, no, no. You don't have. If if you are well uh, used to use Google or Gmail, like you can use success factors. It's as simple as that. And moreover, the main thing is that uh, SAP is 
providing its support now for SAP HCM, but it is not for a long time. It's only for uh, some 10 years more that SAP is going to provide its supports to HCM. So after that, it is not going to provide any support to HCM, which means let's say you want to implement something which is not at all there, which SAP has to come into picture that help SAP will not extend for HCM. It is completely migrating into cloud. So because of these reasons, what has happened is already all the companies who have implemented HCM are now slowly migrating into success factors. That is the cloud because they they are going to use SAP because SAP is best at its solution on premises what they are using now, but the support is not going to be there. So the only option left for them is to migrate and the process is already started. So almost all of the company of the companies have already implemented HCM are migrating into success factors plus the companies who have already um, implemented any of the traditional HR layers are also moving into SAP success factors cloud. So if you look at the prerequisites, like there are no specific prerequisites to learn success factors. Anybody can learn it. It's completely uh, functional. Uh, there is no technical stuff involved over here. So uh, so it is like typically anybody can learn. Mostly SAP HCM consultants would be the people who learn it. Apart from that, any other uh, uh, freshers or anybody can just start learning this as it is much user friendly. And uh, some relation, some details about the certification. Certification would be an added advantage once you finish your course. Uh, with regard to certification, you can directly log on to training.sap.com. The certification code for success factors is CR006. It has some one year validity, and you can take maximum of six different exams. And um, uh, whatever was in HCM, we have different modules like OEM, organizational management, personal administration. So like that, the OEM, PA, ESS, Employee Cell Service and MSS, Manager Cell Service is one module here, Employee Central. Employee Central would be the basic module to start with, which is your core HCM module. That is Employee Central. What's the short form of that? EC. M -E -C -E. E -C, e -C, uh, e -C. Just the first letter E C. That would be the core HCM modules. Apart from that, you have many other modules also. You have certification. Certification. See, I'll give you. I'll give you my example. Huh? I am already certified in ABAP. Okay. Okay. And I have any four year experience in ABAP and Gateway and Web Group. Okay. And I am giving a ABAP certification training also. Okay. In ATOS. Okay. Okay. So uh, I have a chance to certify. I have chance to give the certification in success factor also. So uh, I know I don't need to pay that much amount. So okay. I need your suggestion. This is necessary, or I can. This is additional thing for me. Uh, I need to. I need to do the certification or not? Uh, actually, you are certified in ABAP, but that is different. And if you want to get into success factors, you have to take up certifications in this. Because this certification, CER006, it is certification in the cloud. You don't have to visit a center and take it up. You can take it up from your home. It is an online proctored exam as far as success factors are considered. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so that uh, I don't think it will hold for this. You cannot take up uh, this exam using that. That is just additional thing to work with the company and That's right. Because that is going to help you to get into ABAP. If you want to get into success factors, you'll have to take up this certification CER 006. That is a totally, that is a totally right. That is totally different. In fact, SAP HCM and success factors itself is totally different. Even though the, the methodologies of implementation are same, actually speaking, the functionality is completely different. So, so it is for these reasons that, and these are the different modules that are there in uh, success factors like introduction to mastery. This will be common for any module. 
EC, EC will be the core HCM, which is a mandatory model that you can start with. Apart from that, there is position, PMGM, recruitment, comp, LMS, time, reporting, and much more like succession, etc. So you can. Which one is the higher demand? EC. EC is what you, ha you have to take it up. Yes. Sorry, what did you ask? Which one is? Which one is the higher demand? Demand high demand, demand. Yeah, yeah, employee central. Employee central is of high demand because it is a core HCM uh, module. So SAP HCM people, when they are migrating, they would look only for this mainly. And these are all, I mean, every module has its own importance, but also this is the core HCM module. So you can take up one another module, let's say PMGM along with this, which will help in um, boosting your uh, uh, profile. Yeah, so I I need to go with this part, employee central, right? That's right. That would be the one uh, which you can take up instead of SAP HCM because taking up SAP HCM uh, would be of no use because companies are themselves migrating to SF. So instead of learning SAP HCM, I would suggest you to go with employee central. So let me go on to the PPT now. So. What are success? What is success factor? Success factor is the cloud-based solution which is developed to meet the enterprise class organization, small and mid-sized business. Even small companies can take can use success factors to implement their HR data on that. Mm. SF is a global leader in business execution software. It uses something called as business execution suite. So this suite, uh, that is success factor, uses something called as business execution suite. That is the modules are defined in such a way that the modules like recruitment, uh, performance and all is developed in a way which identifies the right people for the right job. Which means, say, I may be specialized uh, in A, then maybe somebody else who okay. may be specialized in B. So, the system should identify that I would do better if I work in A. The I should not be put into B. Rather, I should be put into A so that I am right for A. If I work on A, A will the output of A will be better. Finding the right person okay. for the right job. And uh, similarly, there are some modules which will um, which will align with um, uh, uh, awarding the right compensation for the right people. So say I'm put into A, I give my best there. So what should happen? Ideally, I should be compensated to my effort, so that in turn I can do much more than what I am. Okay. So like that, this business execution suit, that particular suit, which divides or which uh, makes the modules to function in this way. It's designed in that way. And another okay. advantage of success factors is that SAP offers success factors as both standalone and hybrid solutions. So this is a major advantage here. A standalone solution means you go ahead and you implement entirely in itself. That is a standalone solution. A hybrid solution means you can use a combination of any other traditional ERP and success factors for your solutions. For example, okay. consider we have already implemented SAP HCM. We would now like to go into SF. So that mm. migration, we cannot do it in one shot. There is so much of data yeah. for us. We are a big company. So I we may yeah. say we will first start with employee center but mm. at the same time there will be other modules which which are, which mm. will also be functioning we cannot start pm we cannot stop pmgm until this gets implemented we cannot stop compensation so by means of a hybrid solution what it means is i can use success factors to go ahead with my employee central and I can still use my on-premise solution for my PMGM and compensation. I can use both of them together to obtain the desired result, a hybrid solution. Okay. So that is an important advantage here because of which not only people who have already implemented SAP HCM, but any other mm. traditional ERP type also move into success factors because they have okay. the option to try and see one module. If it works fine, then they go ahead and and uh, the next few slides will be some statistical data about success factors like who are they uh, they were acquired in december 2011 
and uh, currently sf has more than 20 million subscribers and 3600 customers in 168 countries it is uh, it can be used worldwide there's no restriction okay. on language or country sure and this is a comparison between sap and success factors sap has around 40 years of experience developing erp sf has around 11 years of experience in the cloud this was at the time of acquisition sf okay. This had 15,000 customers, that had 3,600 customers, the revenue users and the language comparison is also shown. Okay. So what are we going to obtain through SAP success factors is that we already know that SAP is a renowned HR solution provider and it's already yeah. established throughout yeah. the years we have seen that it is the best. And in the short span, we also got to know that SF is best in the cloud-based solution. We saw its cloud solution, it was best. Yeah. So combining yeah. both of this, what we can expect is the best cloud solution for the HCM. That is the best HCM cloud solutions. So that becomes more okay. advantageous for us. Okay. And um, yeah, so this particular cloud solution uses something called as software as a service. So which is nothing but the normally what we do software we install and we use it. So instead of yeah. installing something, we get that software as a service. That is what is called a software as a service. So who is going to maintain our data? Everything is going to be maintained by SAP at their end. Whenever yeah. we want, we will be able to fetch that data from the their system instantly without any problems. So this software and the customer data is remotely hosted uh, and accessed from any location just with the help of the unique login credential. Okay. Then what are the other advantages of uh, SaaS model is that no hardware or maintenance is required. It's a subscription based licensing model. multi tenant platform. Why do we call it as a multi tenant platform is that let's say you are a company, I'm a company. Say both of us implement success factors. What is going to happen is both of us will have our data onto the same platform. It will be stored in their database only. But still your data will be synchronized from my data so that is with the help of the unique login credentials plus what is called as company id so if i am a company my id can be one your company id can be two so one will be attached to my username and password for each and every data retrieval or updation okay okay yeah and this regular releases, bug fixes, updates, everything will be taken care by SAP. We need not do anything. It can be accessed from anywhere. It has a consistent performance and stability. Mm -hmm. And uh, this slide shows the success factor solutions that are available. It is broadly classified into four categories. The core HR solutions are EC and EC payroll. Talent solutions are performance, goals, compensation, variable pay, LMS, recruitment and onboarding. HR analytics has workforce analytics and planning. Social collaboration is jam. So this is fine. This is also fine. These two are something entirely new for SAP. They didn't have this in the on-premise solution. What it actually does is that uh, it analyzes the workforce that would be required in the future depending upon the status today. Like what is whatever is the current data, with that it can analyze the workflows that will be required in the future. Okay. And social collaboration SAP Jam is similar to Facebook, where instead of uh, sending a, uh, the regular type of a mails, we can uh, use Jam to communicate within the organization members. Okay. And this is okay. So it is like an inter-company net kind of like intranet. It's like intranet. intranet. Yeah. It's like intranet where people can go uh, join SAP Jam. We can post something which will go for everyone. Let's say some quarterly results, some some communications that happens often within the company members. 
it can be done through sap jam without the need to send any regular mails there can be groups where we can form groups and discuss our uh, technical difficulties whatever we do in facebook similarly those type of aspects are available within the organization okay then this is that business execution suite where you can see here these three are defined in a way to find the right person for the right job so the goals performance and workforce planning mm -hmm. and these four modules are designed in a way to award the right person with the right uh, award so compensation learning give them give him the access to learn whatever he is more interested to succession give him suitable role so that he can take over uh, some position which he is apt to hold yeah so these are the modules that are available on employee central it is categorized into based upon the business execution suite and mm. this is a comparison between sap hcm on premise and cloud cloud okay see here these things which are not highlighted in peach will not be supported mm. by sap in future which means okay let's say i have already implemented sap hcm pmgm i am expecting some yeah. support from sap i am not able to do something or i want some enhancement i am expecting a support no is we will not provide any support on this because it is going to stop with support for these modules because of which we have to migrate it to sf there's no other go okay okay so slowly all companies have already implemented sap hcm will be migrating into sf sf okay so hcm is going to be uh, terminated by sap we cannot say it exactly as terminated because the hr core solution is still being supported by sap and there are a lot of companies who still use using that yes. okay okay but the migration will start and slowly okay. people will move finally there will be a stage when nobody uses that but there there's no end date like uh, that it is going to be terminated so there's no such announcement but for these modules support is not no longer going to be extended Okay, okay. So whatever you have implemented, if it is fine, I don't have an issue. Yeah, you can continue. But the moment you want SAP help, then you will have to think about continuing with it. Okay, okay. And these are some of the screens of how the different modules look like: performance and goal management. This is how SAP Jam looks like. Okay. this is employee central people profile where we store the data of employees over here okay yeah so it's very user friendly like uh, compared to hcm it's very easy to understand and work on also it's made much simpler mm. and uh, so this one so success factors employee central is the next step so here what they're doing is they're comparing the on premise and the cloud solution whatever is this mss pa oem in on premise is this module here called employee center that is lot of modules in on premise are clubbed into a module here called employee center okay what is payroll there is cloud payroll here what is talent management that is success factors talent here success factors product talent is this is the main page admin tools this is the place from where we'll be doing the configuration all configuration will be from this page okay okay and so this is how, how it will look when we open the success factors page correct the home page consultants no the home page will be different this will be the page okay. for consultants who do the configuration okay okay home page will be common to all employees this is especially for the consultants for consultants yes for configuration okay yes and um, this is the application architecture of success factors where you can see the customers are at the left most end via browser with the help of internet they are able to access all the success factors applications which is hosted on their platform 
which is xml actually success factors are xml uh, abstraction layer that is they they use xml for all their codings okay so we would be learning a bit of xml also although most of the dependency on xml is reduced there will be some which we would be learned okay and at the rightmost end is the systems management and security management which will take care of the security of the system to make sure okay. nobody else access our data okay okay and there are two main systems as far as success factors are considered one is called as a provisioning which is like a back end from where we activate all the modules and we do some stuff the initial setup we do from there the instance is a front end from where we do the configuration all these pages are instance this is a, this is called as an instance okay this is where we will be working on very few people will have access to provisioning not everybody will have access to provisioning it controls the setup of the entire system okay so provisioning is the uh, it is the main controlling factor of the whole uh, system of success factors in a specific company yes mean for every company that we have installed for okay. yeah for every company there will be a provisioning which will control the major uh, properties of that particular company okay and then uh, let's take an example of this hybrid type of a deployment where initially we saw that sap offers uh, success factors as hybrid solution but if we are doing a hybrid solution what are the possible uh, methods in which we can do the integration there are a lot of options for that these people are especially called as integration consultants who especially take care of integrating sap hcm to sf so few options let, let us see one option is there is some switch we have to add on to the sap on from my hcm part which will automatically do the integration second in the on premise solution we have something called sap net fever pi which we can use to turn on the integration third we use sap hana cloud integration tool which is on the cloud side where we turn on the integration and these are some options which we have to manually do apart from that there are lot of developed tools one of one of them is delbumi cloud atmosphere integration tool this is a readily available tool which will itself integrate any traditional hr erp to success factors it will do it by itself okay so they these people who work on this particular stuff so called as integration consultants okay okay so i think that is a very brief outline of uh, success factors to give you an idea of what what is it and what are the advantages of success factors let me know if you success. have any. yeah uh no it's pretty clear here okay